Okay, it looks like this is the next part. These blocks are heading toward that upside down alluvian. Creepy. Helpful, but creepy. I know. It's a place of learning. Maybe this Vid Athara is helping us find what we need. Now it's even weirder. I know. I can't make it any less weird than it already is, Bull. I can't. It's simply impossible. I could try to make it weirder, but I don't even think my weirdest weird makes this any less weird. Um, they're back. Hi. Okay, we're not talking about this then. Okay, excellent. Glad to know that we can't just talk about this and be friends. <sighs> you all are annoying. You all are so, so severely annoying. Excuse you. No, stop it. Hold on. I think the one in the back almost gone. Too many rogues. Careful. They're sneaky. Kind of like our own rogue, Varric. Be sneaky. No, you. All right, leave all alone. Okay, he's gone. Thank you, Dorian. One more. I think that was it. No, is there one that's about to pop up? Is there an invisible one somewhere? I think we're good. All right, let's head back. The good news is I don't think we've run into any librarians. Maybe the librarians are gone. Let's kind of hope so. Is this... Is this where we... Yes, and I think down this way? Probably should have left myself some kind of breadcrumbs to get back. <laughs> oh, I found the alluvian. Okay. All right. This way and through, and uh, we'll see what's on the other side. No! It hurts. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um... Okay, it That's really, really hurts. not getting better, boss. I know. The pain stopped. It keeps coming back. I know. I know, but what am I going to do about it? It just, we have to keep going. We have to finish this. Whatever happens, this has to be finished before I am. All right. Next area. Cuz this isn't creepy. I think if I remember seeing it up ahead. Oh, is that a Kunari down here? More dead Kunari with terrified expressions. I think I remember seeing from the distance another Alluvian. You are the one protecting it. Welcome, and listen to the last words of those who walked this place. If we get out of here, I will end Fen Haral. After he held back the sky to imprison the gods, the dread wolf disappeared. Lies. We must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fenheral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So, the ancient elven empire collapsed because the veil weakened magic. If the old elves relied on magic even more than the Vince, no wonder things went to crap when it dried up. Do you realize what this means? What this place is? The actual history of the elves could change everything. I know. I know it's already changing everything, and we know. We have to make sure the truth gets out in some way, don't we? We can't... We can't let this all be for nothing in the end. Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil... Demon crap. <laughs> <sighs> this is like the fade, only with falling to your death on top. <laughs> when this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. I will. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. <laughs> Whatever works for you, Tiny. <laughs> Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. Only for you. Fighting a dragon is fun only for you. Um, let me see what else is here. Wait, what's down here? We didn't come up this way, did we? Or did, did we? No, haha. -ha. Found the creepy egg thing surrounded by candles. Okay. That should be enough stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. Does it creep anybody else out that there's a handprint on this and it's the matching handprint to what I think is my hand and the one that's glowing at that. All right. Well, it's fine. This is so totally fine. Let's get back and, uh, you know, 
turn ourselves upside down. Is it upside down, right side up? This does look like Solus's art style, though, doesn't it? We've been looking at this at Skyhold, the style of art, for how long now? Why does Solus paint like the ancient elves, guys? Why is his art style this? What does it all mean? Oh, there's something here. The loose papers are scattered apart, as if abandoned in a great hurry. Algebraic-looking formula crawl across the page, spiked with dense annotation in Quinlat. Okay, this so looks like technical notes. What did the Kunari come here to learn? They're real technical. I can't make out any either. Something about magic. That's it. I recognize some formulas. The Kunari are trying to prove theoretical magic of some kind. Oh, joy. Joy. So they're now trying to prove theoretical magic. Okay. This is getting even more exciting. I would desperately like to end this vacation now. All right. So one more alluvian to go through and we should be back, right? Yes. Do you think we have any friends waiting for us down here? Yeah, of course we do. How do you keep finding us? I don't understand. I thought I was being super careful going through the alluvians, but no, I guess I wasn't. Enjoy that. That was a gift. That's a new gift. I didn't even know I had that new gift, but I do. So, you know, I'm just gonna use it more often. I hope every, stop touching me. Oh no, sir. Sir, my whole body hurts because of my hand right now, so you, you could just go away. You? Okay. Did somebody just come and fight me? I need, oh, you. You're a chonker, huh? Yeah, I'll come and fight you. Don't, don't knock me off the ledge. Does anybody have a barrier up on bull? No, we do now, though. All right, I think we did double barrier, but I'm fine with that, Dorian. Just keep him alive. Let me see if I can this. And then is this gonna, do I have, no, I'm good for right now. Yeah, <laughs> take that, sir. Okay, he's getting there. He can't, he can't have much longer left, right? There's a lot of us going at him. Should be fine. Hopefully he doesn't get his barrier back up because that would suck a lot. He's almost there. He's almost there. He's almost there. He's almost there. Don't let him. Okay, he's dead. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. What is this? Are these the librarians? The librarian. Not good. No, they're angry librarians. Why are we facing angry librarians? We didn't touch your library. We did not touch your library, librarians. We saved it. We're saving. I'm trying. Oh, they brought spiders. I hate these librarians. These are the worst librarians ever. Oh my gosh. These are absolutely the worst librarians ever. They brought spiders, guys. Kill them. Spiders and the librarians. What did you say now? I really wish I knew what you were trying to tell me. I do, honestly. Oh, where's Solus when I need him? Okay, this? That one's gone. I got one gone. One librarian down. Uh, maybe this? Okay, good. I think I caused a spider to shatter. Honestly, that's probably the greatest news I've heard all day. These librarians are awful. Can, can you imagine what these librarians would have been like if you had an overdue book. If this is how they feel about you going through their library, imagine an overdue book. Oh no, no thank you. Dead, spider gone. All right, that was the librarians. Anybody need a health potion? I think the canary left some behind. Survivor of the Breach, Herald of Change, Hero of the South. The Vidasala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the Breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. 
Just to clarify, are you talking about the magic on my hand or just my personal magic? Because I've got two different ones going right now. Either way, you're not taking either from me. You don't get to dictate when my duty is done. I don't even know you. You don't even know me. You don't get to dictate my life or the life of the Inquisition or pretty much anybody except your own. Because, you know, free will, all of that stuff. My mark isn't a danger to you or anybody else, and I don't think that you're up to killing me. I've defeated all your Ben Hasrath so far. So you have. The repercussions have already begun. I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. D d d you left us to curb our own magic and you should have stepped in? I'm sorry, what? You don't get to rule another country like that. You can do with your own people whatever it is that you want, but you don't get to tell us in the South how we live our lives. That is not up to you. It never has been, nor will it ever be. And I will fight you to the end on that one. Is that what Dragon's Breath is for? Murdering our heads of state just to control our magic. Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? that its consequences stopped there. The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why do you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Darvarad. I don't like her at all. There is no part of me that is happy about this. Think that they can come in and invade the South and tell us how to live our lives? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. This Vitasala and I, we are so going to have words. So many words are about to happen. No, you stop it. I, I'll have words with you first then. Nothing makes me angrier than somebody coming in thinking that get to tell me how to live my life. Oh. This is not going to be good for any of them. Now I'll fight you when I'm good and ready. And right now, I am not ready. At all. I'll be there in a second, though. Because we got other things to deal with. You? No. Are you a... They have a Cerebos. I didn't even know that that's what you were. You were so quiet over here. You gotta go. Dorian, are you guys doing okay back there? Oh, guys, mage, tiny mage. Dorian, I'm coming to save you. Okay, good. Oh, and Bolt, Ver Bolt, Varric's in trouble. Okay. All right, he's gone. All right, Varric is no longer in trouble. Uh, we had two Sarah bosses? How many do they have on staff? Okay, enjoy that, everyone. Let's just finish them off, and then we're going to search this place, and then I'm going to find a way to end the Vitasolic. She does not get to win today. Or ever, for that matter. Who is the creepy big person behind her, though? That's what I don't understand. Was that another Cerebos? What was it? Who was it? Why did they make me nervous? All right, them, gone. Is that everybody? They were waiting. They've been wanting to invade us for how long now? So they waited two years until they found what they deemed was an appropriate event to kill pretty much all of our heads of state. And they thought that this was gonna work with me as the Inquisitor? I mean, come on, maybe if this just one of the other powers, maybe, but against me? We took on Corypheus and won. That's another Alluvian up there. Hmm. What does this one say? Those born outside the Kuhn will not comprehend the seriousness of using mages to help us. They believe the worst that can befall a mage is demon possession. They do not truly understand that the loss of mastery comes with the loss of the self. I mean, yes, that should be obvious. I don't want, no, understand why somebody wouldn't understand that. You let yourself get possessed by a demon, you've lost 
your sense of self. You've succumbed to whatever it is that that demon is offering you to the point where the self doesn't matter. It That's obvious. I guess maybe not to everybody. Those at the Kuhn since birth do not understand why we risk using Cerebos. We have immersed them in a sea of magic until it seems impossible they could ever do anything but drown. It is right that we enlighten you so your purpose here is clear. We have learned from this place that there lived an elven mage who saw a great wrong and sacrificed all to right it. This mage made the veil, which protects us from the fade. This veil stripped power from his rulers, who had treated their people with such excess that it makes the southern kings and queens seem staid. Thus, every action carry rightness and all paths converge. In his greatest magic, the elven mage became an agent of peace through the veil. In our willingness to brave this place, we may discover how the veil can be strengthened through our own mages. For that, we risk our lives. The Sarabas who have joined in this endeavor understand the dangers and have made their choice. Remember the words of Ashkari Koslun. Existence is a choice. There is no chaos in the world, only complexity. Knowledge of the complex is wisdom. Wisdom of the world comes wisdom of the self. Mastery of the self is mastery of the world. Loss of the self is the source of suffering. Suffering is a choice and we can refuse it. It is in our own power to create the world or destroy it. For peace, we will endure any horror here. We will create a safer world or destroy the old one. These are Vidasala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. A way to clamp down magic. No wonder she's here. It explains why the Kunari thought it was worth camping here. That explains everything. They're fighting a war on two fronts right now. This makes so much sense. They're fighting us, right? The the South who they think that our magic has gone out of control and we're out of control and blah, 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 blah. And we're going to make all your choices for you because stupid little humans and elves and dwarves and all that stuff. And then they're also fighting this agent of Fenharel who is working on something with the veil and now they want to strengthen it so what does that imply that whoever this agent is wants to find a way to rip the veil apart what would happen if that happened for a quick second can we all just imagine what would happen if the veil came down yeah i don't think it would be a good thing if the breach was any indication right of what would happen if the veil came down. It would two it it would be like two big things colliding with each other and exploding. I don't would anybody survive? So I guess I get why the Kuhn wants to strengthen the veil. They want to do it for the wrong reasons, but I mean at the same time, was the veil even put up for the right reasons? Yes, the, the ancient elves that were enslaving their people were horrible. Like, that is beyond disgusting, but to put up a veil and destroy everything, was that worth it? Are there, res like, what's come of it? What's come since then? Is that, is this really the moral choice that they made? I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't judge them, but cities came crumbling down people died for this granted it sounds like it was a war a war most people didn't know that they were fighting but i don't know i don't know if putting up the veil was the right call or not i don't know if but what i do know is that i don't think tearing down the veil is going to be the right call because oh boy how many people are going to die in the process what is up here? I found a keystone with one of the Kunari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davarad. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the paths. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. Thank you. Thank you so very much for all of your help. You've been very helpful. Uh, uh... De Thal was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. Thank you for the help. We've got to find the Starverad and corner Vidasala there. 
All right, shall we? Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerim's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. We're not responsible for that threat. Liliana, there is no way, shape, or form that this is on us. This is on the Kuhn and the Kuhn only. Uh, but you didn't mention that they had Gatlock barrels at Skyhold, which must mean that they're trying to find some way to pin this on us in the end. What was their plan? To destroy every noble and then pin this on the Inquisition so we go to war with each other, theoretically, and then the Kuhn would come in and be able to clean up the mess easy enough? I mean, it's a strong tactic. It's not going to work, though, because they won't let it. Tell me what else you know. I take it you have new information. The elven servant handling the barrels confessed to working for the Canari. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? I don't know. Cullen, I don't know, but that honestly, at this point, it doesn't surprise me. It seems like not much is going to surprise me. At this point, who's our leak, Leliana? Tell me you at least know that. Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kuhn, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. And then we took them in because we thought that they were either there for the right reasons or were refugees and needed help. All right, well, there's no... We can't just sit around and get sad over what was or what could have been or what was done to us. We have to pick ourselves back up. It's time to go on the offensive. We have to figure this out. We have to finish up with whatever it is the Canari are planning. And then we also have to deal with the stupid stupid counsel we can't change what happened only how we react to it now i fought to protect the inquisition in this exalted council and for what josie so we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect that's not what we're doing once we locate the spies this isn't about the spies you hid the canari body you've all but seized control of the winter palace we did what was right not what was politically convenient do you know what this has cost us with Orlé and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. No. No. Fuck this and fuck them. Orlé and Ferelden do not get to tell me when my Inquisition is done. They, they think that they have the power, they have none. They can only dismantle us if we allow them to, and I, for one, am not ready for them to dismantle us. Who knows? Maybe when this is over, I'll be ready for it, but I don't know yet. But they do not get to dictate our life. They think that they do, which is just stupid beyond belief. And Josephine, how can you doubt us at this point, after all the good that we've done, after all the lives that we've saved? You know that we've only acted when we had to, when it was the right thing to do. And for you to doubt us now, now, when my hand and the mark is at this point, when Orle and Ferelden is at this point, we need to work together right now because otherwise we don't win this. If we start dividing and fighting amongst each other, we're no better than what we were doing when we were trying to find Skyhold after Haven collapsed. We can't. We can't go back to the way that we were. We have to keep pushing forward. Shit, damn it! We save Ferelden, and they're angry. We save Orle, and they're angry. We close the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? I need to get to the Davarad. You can all fight amongst yourselves once I'm... Once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. 
Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Might as well. There's no harm in it at this point, and they'll have to know just in case I don't make it. Or if we don't succeed, rather. Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Thank you. Leliana, I can... No, your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Okay. Make her watch over you. 